the world isn't the same anymore. Like for me, the world is is um, a different place. Yes, it is my farewell party at the Darlinghurst Theatre Company. Uh, my final show at the Darlow, and a few people have come along to help celebrate. I moved just down the road from the Darlinghurst Theatre and uh, wandered past one day and went in and said, "Oh, I'd really like to volunteer here." I volunteered for a year, and then kind of just worked th through the company, I guess, um, with the beautiful Glen Terry kind of believing in me and um, mentoring me in lots of different areas. And then I remember saying to him, um, "Oh, Glenn, I think I want to do producing. I think that I think you know my passion and my skills combined that would be kind of the right role for me." And about three months later, he said, "Malena, I'd like you to be an assistant producer for the company." My father is from Marysville, and um, his father. I was born in a little town just near there, and my, my grandfather owned the pub in Marysville for thirty years and my parents ran the pub. Uh, but my dad lives there now. He, um, when my, fa my grandfather passed away in 2001, dad ended up moving back to Marysville. I think it was, um, for him it was a, very much a realisation of where he felt he belonged and where his roots were and that sort of thing. And so he ended up moving back to his hometown. It was so beautiful, it was in the mountains, it was it was just so pretty. I think that's the and the thing that also devastates me is the fact that it's a tourist town and the reason why it exists is because of its beauty. And if that doesn't exist anymore, I don't know how they can survive. And that's going to be years away before that those that that natural beauty can can come back, I guess. I was actually away for the weekend and I didn't have any rain. I didn't have any mobile um, reception. I had a text message from a friend of mine which said, what an effing disaster, um, is your dad okay? And I, I had no idea what was going on and immediately I tried to ring my dad and he didn't answer. So then I rang um, the friend who sent me a text message. He said, there's fires, there's fires all over Victoria, like, is your dad okay? Mary's was gone. It's not every day that you think about your father or a loved one or a family member that it's um, that they are, are there really that that you can, at any point you can talk, call them and you can talk to them and you can and um, and that next day they may not be there. I honestly believe if my dad was there, he wouldn't be here because he's he's a real uh, he's a real Aussie country bloke, and I can't imagine him not fighting and not helping. And um, uh, I mean, he after this event, he assures me that he would have he would have gone, but it just I can't even I can't even imagine him le leaving his town. My dad picked me up and we kind of drove through the town a little bit and had a sort of got the scale of of everything that's burnt down. It's like a movie where the world has ended. You walk down the main street and there's nobody there, there's no people, there's nothing. At some some buildings there's the front facade of the building and nothing behind, but you'll see the door and there's a an open sign. Yeah, unlike anything I've ever seen before and I hope lots of people don't ever get that opportunity. My dad's house is still there, but the hotel which my grandfather owned for 30 years is, um, it's just rubble and Marysville has to have, I think it's 47 funerals now, so I think that's when reality will hit, when other people see their house is gone and their loved ones need to be buried. I've, give, I, I've been here for four and a half years in, in this wonderful company and I just thought, 
I think I need to, oh, there's so many other things I want to do in my life and experiences and I just, uh, not taking this opportunity when it's handed to me, I think would be a mistake. I get to go to New York, which I'm very excited about. And then we'll, and then we'll go to the UK. I'm not sure when I'll be back, but I, I hope that I get to um, travel for quite a while and, um, and hopefully work if I can find some country that will let me. Thank you.